UGC NET is a national eligibility test conducted throughout India for assistant professors and junior research fellowship eligibility. UGC NET is conducted for various subjects such as Hindi, Commerce, Computer Science and Application, etc. Here we are going to focus only on Computer Science and Application. Regarding the eligibility, mode of examination, test scheme and the selection criteria. From 2015, UGC NET examinations are being conducted by Central Board of Secondary Examinations. NET is conducted to determine the eligibility for Assistant Professor and Junior Research Fellowship. CBSE conducts this exam in 84, 84 subjects at 8 9 cities across India. In Tamil Nadu, it is conducted in major cities like Chennai, Coimbatore, Madurai, Trichy. Each subject has a separate code number and the code number for computer science and application is 87. Universities, institutions, IITs and other national organizations such as ISRO, Atomic Research Centers, etc. may select the JRF awards for whole time research or part time research accordance with the procedure prescribed by them. On seeing the eligibility, three different eligibilities have been set. First, the candidates who have completed their master's degree. The candidates must have an aggregate of 55 percentage. The uh, this 55 percentage of mark is for candidates who come under the general category. The 55 percent mark is not in, is, does not include rounding of marks such as 55, uh, 54.5 or 54.6 etc. They should get an overall mark of 55 percentage or above. And for students under categories such as OBC, SC or ST and physically challenged candidates should obtain a minimum mark of 50 percentage that also doesn't include rounding of marks and more. Next, students who are currently doing their master's degree, that is the final year students can also attend the el national eligibility test. Uh, the condition set for them is they must complete the degree within the two year within two years from the date of the net result. Again, the same condition applies for general category students. They should obtain a mark of 55 percentage and above, and for other categories, they should obtain a mark of 50 percentage and above. PhD degree score holders can also attend NET. The PhD degree holders whose master's level examination had been completed by the 19th September 1991 irrespective of date of declaration of result shall be eligible for a relaxation of 5 percentage in aggregate marks. Coming to the age limit and the relaxation for junior research fellowship uh, candidates falling under the general category and uh, must not be more than 28 years. Relaxation is given for OBSC, SC, ST, women and research candidates. They get a relaxation of 5 years that is they should not be more than 33 years. For assistant professor there is no age limit set. Coming to the exceptions. Exemptions are set only for the assistant professors. Uh, exemption list includes net sled said shall remain the minimum eligibility condition for recruitment and appointment of assistant professors in universities, colleges, institutions. PhD degree holders in accordance with the University of Grant Commission minimum standard and the procedure for award of the PhD degree regulations of 2009 shall be exempted. The candidates who have passed the UGC or CSIR examination prior to 1989 are also exempted from appearing in, do, in, in NET. States eligibility test set are created by UGC prior to 1st December 2002 are exempted from appearing in NET being eligible to apply for assistant professor anywhere in India. 
For set held from 1st December 2002 onwards, the qualified candidates are eligible to apply for assistant professor only within the state from where they have cleared their set. That is, they do not have the eligibility to uh, apply for assistant professor postings other than the state from which they are being selected. Next, coming to the scheme of test. Uh, the scheme of test includes three papers and the total duration of the uh, NED examination is from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. It almost takes a day. So first, pa coming to paper one. Paper one contains 60 questions out of which 50 questions are to be answered by the qu candidates. Uh, the mark for the question is, uh, the total mark for the paper is 100. That is, each question may carry two marks. The second paper includes 50 questions and all the questions are compulsory and again it's 400 marks. The third paper consists of 75 questions and again it's all compulsory questions and the total marks awarded for the paper 3 is 150. So all these papers will be only in the objective type questions. There is no question and answers or brief explanation needed. Coming to the selection criteria. Let's see on what basis they select the candidates for the assistant professor and JRF posting. So for category, uh, they are dividing the candidates into two categories, general and other cases such as OBC, SA, ST and physically challenged. A general category candidate should obtain 40% of marks in part 1, 40% of marks in part 2 and 50% of marks in part 3. And for the OBC, SC, ST and physically challenged candidates, they are to obtain a mark of 35% in part 1, 35% in part 2 and uh, it's a small error here, it's 40% in part 3. Based on the above criteria, a list of set is being uh, said uh, for uh, the list is prepared for each subject and the category by its merit list using their aggregate mark that is for a general candidates of above uh, 40 percent and more and for uh, uh, physically challenged or obc persons from 35 and more uh, from this list they again it's been uh, filtered top 15 percentage of the candidates in each subject and the category are declared for the assistant professors and from that list again it's filtered and the JRF merit list is being prepared. That is 15 percentage of the candidates in the assistant professors list are being selected for the JRF. That is a JRF can work as assistant professor or a JRF uh, or a JRF. It depends upon their interest. Coming to the syllabus. For computer science and applications uh, the syllabus set is as follows. Now in part 1 we see they are giving technical aptitude, research aptitude, reading comprehension, communication, reasoning including mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning, data interpretation, information and communicating technology, people and environment, higher education system. So uh, overall part 1 is the common syllabus for all subjects whether it be Hindi, English or any subject commerce etc. Part 1 is similar to all. So this is uh, to be noted. Then coming to part 2 and part 3. Part 2 and part 3 are based on their specification for computer science and application it will be computer oriented and the likewise. Uh, for part 2 it includes subjects such as discrete structures, computer arithmetic, programming in C and C++, relational database design and SQL data and file structures, computer networks, system software and compilers, operating system, software engineering, current rare and technologies. In part 2 it is a bit more advanced. It includes computer organization, BBMS, computer graphics, software engineering, data communication, computer networks, data structures, object oriented programming, system analysis and design, artificial and intelligence. And also it includes uh, five elective subjects such as image processing, neural that depends upon the specification. So the point to be noted here is there should be uh, uh, the candidate appearing for this exam should have an overall preparation in all the subjects not just uh, being specific in C, C++ or SQL etc. An overall knowledge, uh, overall precise knowledge is being needed for this exam, to attend this 